Hey, hi there guys. I'm so happy that you're here. We are about to celebrate yet another holiday. Now, I don't know if you celebrate this where you live, but here in America and quite a few other countries I've heard about have started to celebrate Valentine's Day. Now, we have done a lot of learning adventures here where we have celebrated and learned about other holidays, festivals um, from around the world. And that has been so interesting. I just recently did one about Groundhog Day. Have you ever heard of that one? <laughs> Talk about a funny holiday where groundhogs tell you the weather. They predict if winter is going to last six more weeks or if spring's coming early. Who knew? I didn't know groundhogs can do that. <laughs> that was a fun one. Well, Valentine's Day is a special little holiday where we get a chance to really celebrate the people that we love, our friends, our family, teachers, or um, anyone, actually. And it's up to you. And how you celebrate may just be unique to you as well. Sometimes people buy candy, like chocolate, or they get flowers, maybe cards, balloons. Sometimes it means just going out and spending time together, maybe going out to eat. Well, sometimes in our schools, they get to have a celebration, a party, a Valentine's party, and they give out little cards to each other. There might be some fun games. So in this story that I have to share with you, it's called The Night Before Valentine's Day by N Natasha Wing and illustrated by Heidi Petak. I hope that I said that correctly. Hey, don't forget to go out and maybe look for this book that you can read with your friends or your family. Start your own library. Go to your media center at school or your local library. And don't forget, you can always purchase this book online or at a bookstore to help support the authors. So I would love for you to get ready to get some fun ideas maybe about how some people celebrate Valentine's Day or maybe how you would like to celebrate Valentine's Day. It can be pretty fun and definitely a special day for us to remember, thank, and celebrate those that we love. So, since that's the case, how about you come and join me on this learning adventure by getting a cozy spot, maybe a little blanket to warm up, a little chilly where I live yet, but no snow yet, in case you've been watching. Yeah, I mentioned that a lot, no snow. <laughs> but... That's okay, because we are having fun inside reading books. And let's get started. The Night Before Valentine's Day. Oh, look, they're going on a bus. And it looks like she made a card for her favorite bus driver. The Night Before Valentine's Day. Twas the night before Valentine's Day, and all through the town, children were busy not making a sound. Oh, look at them. Looks like they're making some cards and maybe writing a special note on them. That's the fun part. They gathered their scissors, their glitter and glue, pink and red paper, and paint brushes too. They made cards that read, will you be mine? And others that said, my true Valentine. They trimmed giant hearts with stickers and lace and added an arrow in just the right place. Then marking the envelopes, with each friend's name, they hoped that their friends were doing the same. <laughs> Look at that. He was licking those cards so much so that they would close that that envelope got stuck to his tongue. <laughs> wow, he's got a lot of cards to give out. Do you? <sighs> 
And when they were done, they slept snug in their beds, while visions of candy hearts danced in their heads. Oh, candy hearts. Do you like candy hearts? Some people do. Some people don't. It's a fun candy because on each one, they usually have a little message like this. Love you, true blue, say yes, princess, kiss me, miss me, come back. <laughs> the very next day, it was Valentine's Very next morning, it was Valentine's Day. They grabbed all their cards and went on their way. Here they go. They're so excited to share what they made with their friends and all of the ones that they care about so much. It makes you feel good to do something so special and see someone else smile when you give them a card. I love that. The classroom was decked out in red, pink, and white with balloons and streamers and festive and bright. Oh, look at them. They have all the balloons. Looks like they're putting up some kind of game. Oh, that looks like it's going to be so much fun. Someone dropped by with a giant bouquet addressed to the teacher who blushed right away. The card was signed from a secret admirer. But everyone knew it was Mr. O'Meyer. <laughs> Uh-oh, I guess. He decided to surprise the teacher. She got a little embarrassed. They played pin the heart and won goofy toys. And girls ran away from kissy face boys. The art teacher came and painted kids' faces. She put hearts on cheeks and sillier places. Look at that cute heart on their nose. That's what they're laughing about. Wow, they did a lot of fun things on that party. At last, it was time to deliver the cards. Look, one for Lisa, Jim, and Bernard. They opened them up read them and smiled and laughed at the cards that were totally wild. Woo, this one had a surprise in it, a heart that came popping out when she opened the card. Looks like it surprised her. <laughs> then they ate goodies, sweet cherries and grapes and drank punch with ice cubes in little heart shapes. Oh, I see lots of things here. I also see something yummy, like a cupcake. Do you like cupcakes too? Do you like chocolate cake or vanilla cake? Hmm, what kind of icing? <gasps> sprinkles or no sprinkles? Oh my, there's so many different ways to enjoy a good cupcake. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see what happens next. And just when they thought the party was done, a knock on the door came at quarter past one. Uh-oh, they were wondering who that could be knocking at the door. Who do you think it is? I don't know. Let's see. When what to their wandering eyes should appear, but the principal himself dressed in full Cupid gear. His arrows, how golden, his bow carved and tight. The wig that he wore was a comical sight. What? What an interesting visitor. Doesn't look like he said anything. Wonder why he stopped by. He spoke not a word and was gone in a minute, leaving a present behind. 
Now what could be in it? Anyone want to guess what's in it? Candy? Maybe a card? A present? A toy, you mean? Oh, it's maybe. They read Cupid's note as he leapt down the hall. Happy Valentine's Day to one and all. Mm hmm. Here they go. They're opening it up. Oh, happy Valentine's Day to one and all. He gave them a class pet. It looks like a little hamster or maybe a guinea pig. I'm not too sure. What do you think it is? Oh, wow. Ooh, that would be fun to have in the classroom, but a lot of work to help take care of it. Oh boy, sounds like they had a good fun time at that Valentine's Day party. Those are some things that can happen. I hope that you get to have a fun Valentine's Day party. And if not, why don't you ask if you can have one? Maybe see if you can invite some friends over and have some fun games and some good snacks. I think you'd have a great time celebrating friendship, celebrating with those that you really care about. Just like I'm here with you, because I really care about you too. And I hope that you have a great week and you come back and go on a learning adventure with us again real soon. Take care. Bye.